Hey guys, this is third tutorial for beginners in product photography. We're going to do something cool with this uh, bottle of Baileys. And if you didn't see the first two, please, here is the links. Watch them before so you will understand the whole story. Because I'm telling you a story uh, that, uh, well, it will be some an interesting uh, final at the end, okay? So, the bottle, okay? We have it set up the way that, again, uh, I covered it on the previous tutorial. And it looks like this. Okay, exactly the same setup as we had uh, for the bottle of uh, that uh, Marinier liquor, right? All looks cool, most of the thing looks cool, except maybe like a Bailey's uh, logo on top, right? You understand what I'm talking about. Uh, it's missing there, so we need to do what? We need to put some reflector additional to get the logo, right? Okay? However, it might look good. But there is one mistake that I see many photographers uh, making, and uh, it kind of made up uh, all the way to the final placement, whatever placement could be. Let's see. Look at the bottom of the bottle. And at the bottom, we have an issue, okay? We have an issue. What is this? And I see it so many times in our students' work uh, from the Complete Guide to Product Photography program, and I see it all over the place. And if you experience at least a little bit, you can probably answer what is going on. What is it? It's a reflection from a table, okay? From this plate that we use, well, to have a nice reflection, okay? Or to have some, whatever you may need. Put some stuff, prop it if it's uh, an advertising image. But we need a table and it will be always there unless we fix it. There are a few ways to fix it, okay? Uh, let me show you one, the very first, the super easy one, right? You just take away table. In this case, it will be no reflection and if you look at this shot vs previous one, the bottom looks great, okay? However, it may be not a good thing for you to do because you still need a table. What I can tell you guys, it's not possible at a given angle to get rid of the table, okay? It will be always there. What you can do, you can lower the camera, right? You lower the camera, angle is different and it will be gone, the reflection from a table. Let's do this. Let's lower it and reposition. It's, it's cool, right? But there is no table either. In the same way as you just take it away. So you can't do much about it. Photoshop is the answer in many cases. And the best way how we shoot when this angle is not good because for some reason we need to do it like it was before, right? And you want to have a reflection on the table if you need it to shoot like this, okay? And we don't want to retouch the bottle because it may be quite, well, serious retouching. The best way is still shoot like this, okay? On a pin or on little plate, this is a baby wall plate uh, that you can buy on any uh, store like bndhphotovideo.com uh, or Amazon. And it works perfectly as a micro table top surface for anything that can stand there. And then what you do, you do in Photoshop. It's super easy to create a reflective surface and even have the reflection in Photoshop, okay? If you don't know how to do this, well, check out the link. Uh, we have a tutorial for you on FortiG. Now, there is one little trick that really separates professional photographers from amateurs or, well, semi-professional in product photography. You can be great at, you know, weddings, at uh, portraiture, all looks cool. And, uh, well, now on third lesson, you know how to shoot this. And you know why I put all these lights, what is going on, you know, all the mistakes. If not, again, watch the previous tutorial. But there is something that can be done different about this shot. Guess what? Not lighting, lighting is good. It's an angle. Angle. If I'm using the lens, 
It's a macro lens. This is workhorse uh, lens for uh, most of uh, products that we shoot for our students or for our clients. Uh, 90, 90 millimeters macro lens. Beautiful lens uh, from Sony. However, 90 millimeters, it's a relatively long lens. There is almost no perspective distortions and you know all these uh, things that can be caused by wider angle lens. However, if you look at the advertising images of most of brands, beverage brands, you will see something. Their bottles look different. They doesn't look like this one. How they look like? Let's put 35 millimeter lens and I'll show you the difference, okay? So this is our bottle at 90 millimeters and I have, well, this is just a regular, actually not the best. It's uh, 35, 16, 35. Uh, millimeter f.4 Sony lens okay it's the best uh, to use prime lens uh, but we're using prime lens for the video and for this uh, this for this lesson this will work perfectly so definitely you need to move way closer right uh, to the bottle with this lens so it's somewhere like this okay and what you do, you lower the camera. You really lower the camera, okay? And tilting lens up. Manual focus, of course, you understand. If not, well, welcome to the school. You tilt the camera and you have distorted image, okay? This and this. Once it's cropped, here it is, side by side, cropped and uh, cleaned a little bit. The difference is in the angle of view, and it's a big difference. We shoot bottles, we shoot uh, perfumes with wider angle lens, we shoot them slightly from the bottom, okay? If needed, we may even correct some distortions in Photoshop, but usually it's fine if your subject is in center. It should be on center, otherwise it will be like this, you know, the barrel distortion may be not a good idea to have, okay? And with frame like this, it looks really great. Now, you add reflection for the uh, label, okay? Somewhere like this, you can always do the composite image if uh, your reflection kind of throws some, something on a bottle. And we are done. Okay, so this was a little trick for you in, the, in this sequence of tutorials for beginners in product photography. Check out our next video. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're going to post more and more. It will be actually like a mini course. Uh, for you guys, for our subscribers, for 40G uh, readers and subscribers, enjoy it. Uh, welcome to the world of product photography. It's a beautiful place. It's uh, free of drama place. Nobody will, well, the bottle won't complain sitting here for 10 hours or more. So it's a beautiful, well, if you like it, if you like it like me. Okay, uh, welcome to 40G. Uh, there is a course, if you want to join, there is a free course as well. Uh, link is on the description. See you on the next video.